this was a good storage practice at one time, right? Um, uh, people use these to create redundancy. You know, redundancy is a big part of uh, storage. So um, you mentioned, you know, a researcher might have stored all their data on a computer or a hard drive and then a fire broke out in their home and that was it, it's gone. So run, redundancy is, is one of the things that's talked about a lot. And I think that's probably the one that most researchers are pretty comfortable following. Uh, we're used to making copies of our data in different places. Uh, it might be on multiple CDs, you might back up to the cloud, you might back up to an external hard drive and take that external hard drive with you. Uh, I found in talking to researchers that a lot of people will drop a file in email and email it to themselves. And so they've created redundancy this way. Um, you know, that kind of storage is, is, is at least good compared to single, you know, um, I guess uh, single storage options, but um, it's still not good enough. You know, you definitely want to get, um, you definitely want to use more, um, more of a managed storage approach, I guess you would say. So this might have been good at one point for someone, but um, not many computers come with the hardware required to read this now. And so uh, I've actually had, since I've been here only a year, I've had um, just members of the public come into the library and ask, hey, does anyone know where I can, act, you know, where I can plug this disk into a machine so that I can see what I had on here? And, um, and so they've been directed to me because <laughs> I'm collecting uh, some hardware that can be used to render these. And we have a lot of these in archives and we're trying to extract data from them. Um, but it's important to keep in mind that you know, a, lot of these, um, a lot of these storage, you know, going back to floppy disks, zip disks, uh, even CDs and DVDs are really just tomorrow's floppy disks. And they're on the verge of being uh, obsoleted now. Um, desktop machines are starting to ship without CD and DVD drives. Uh, people use tablets. Uh, everything is moving to the cloud. And so, um, you know, any kind of fixed media, as far as storage goes, has its dangers. And redundancy can help. Um, but redundancy might not solve all the problems, too. So what we really recommend as librarians and archivists is using managed storage. So this is storage that has, you know, constant backup. Um, with this kind of storage, with archival storage, you can do other things. You can, um, you can check files for fixity. So digital objects do degrade naturally on their own. Over time, there's something called bit rot, and they lose bytes, you know. And so you can see this in, in uh, some old digital photograph fire files where you'll, you'll open them up, and if one bit flips, you know, from a one to a zero, that could have tremendous impact on the quality of the image. And you can see visible degradation. So uh, one of the ways uh, that we try to work against that is when we put stuff in managed storage, and if we can wrap around um, that managed storage certain policies that, that check those files constantly and look for bit rot and compare them you know, to previous checks, previous audits of an entire directory. Well, then we can start to see, okay, you know, oh, here's one that it, it, there's something has changed. And so then we can back it up from a previous version and restore it. Um, so there's definite benefits to taking a managed storage approach. And I realize that some of these things might be beyond, you know, what some researchers are able to do, but I think this is really where libraries and archives can, can help researchers with that kind of appropriate storage.